Good morning, Minecraft, and welcome to the world of Archspore. And this is going to be a very special episode. This will be my 160 subscriber special. Yes, you heard it, 160 subscribers. I am truly amazed at how quickly my subscribers jumped from 100 up to 160. I was just about to start a 100 subscriber special when I turned around and suddenly had 140 overnight. And then a few days later, it's all the way up to 160. I am just, just speechless. <laughs> uh, thank you everybody for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. Uh, this is, this is truly awesome. And in honor of my 100, no, 160 subscriber special, I wanted to do something really, really special, but I couldn't really figure out what to do. So I first thought I might try and build uh, a great big monument, like my uh, lion here that I did for my 22 subscriber special, but it just didn't seem to be big enough. Then I thought, why don't I try to make one of those really cool double helix towers? But, as you can see, I've already made one for the Together to the Top community. And so I climbed up to the top of my mansion, trying to think, what could I do for all my subscribers? And while I was wandering around, I came up with another idea. So I was thinking maybe I could give away one of the new rooms in my mansion. Like this round one with the really spectacular view overlooking the lagoon. Then I thought, why don't I try to do something big and spectacular at the same time? Why don't I set off a really huge explosion? But if you remember, we already set off fireworks for the uh, 50 subscriber special. So my next thought was, how about I build another windmill? That might be cool. Everybody loves windmills, and this time I could make it 10 times larger. <laughs> okay, no, that really wouldn't be a good idea. And so, I scoured my entire world, searching for a grand idea, something special for all of my subscribers. And finally, it hit me. I know the one place that no one has ever seen before. A place so amazing that words cannot describe it. Okay, well, I will try and find some words to describe it. And to keep everyone from dying in suspense, it's my first world that I ever built in Minecraft. It's not epic or amazing or even beautiful, but I thought you guys might like the opportunity to see what it looks like. And here it is. This is my first world map and I've got some sheep jumping around in the water and this door here leads into the first hole I cut into the side of the hill and created a uh, what is it <laughs> uh, a mine I guess uh, did some I had no idea what I was doing here. I'm just cutting holes in the in the walls, cutting out large areas, and just kind of messing around, chasing chasing coal and iron and variety of different uh, different things. Like I said, I had no idea what I was doing at the time. Just kind of figured it out as I go. And it looks like I have a leak coming in from the 
Oh, what is it? Uh, the lake over there. And here's some here's some holes that I created to kill off skeletons. Mm, to kill off uh, skeletons and uh, apparently pigs are getting in. Ha ha! I gotcha. Mm. Creepers, yeah, creepers, those guys. And uh, actually, I should uh, run over and show you guys the other the other house I built first. What are you doing, piggy? Don't don't do that. So uh, I'm gonna wait till the sun comes up first. It's kind of dangerous out there. How do you guys keep getting in here? This is definitely not a critter-free, uh, critter-free establishment. Oh, I'm full of, full of stuff. What do I do? Oh, here we go. Let's get rid of some of this stuff and pick up these pork chops. So, like I said, I'm gonna wait for, uh, I'm gonna wait for sunrise to come up, and then I'm gonna go show you guys my, the, the house that I built on the other side of the lake. Okay, after a couple of days waiting for the rain to stop, um, let's go over across the little lake that's here. Um, originally this, this pond was only about one or two blocks deep, but I dug it out and connected it to this other pond over here. So that was my first my first attempt at landscaping or I should say underwater landscaping and if you can see you can kind of make out something down there <laughs> we'll uh, show it off here in a little bit uh, my first bridge that I ever built was actually that one over there I think I was trying to build a floating what is it? A floating wheat farm? But it didn't turn out so well. <laughs> um, little waterfall and uh, some glass over there. I'll show you why that that glass is there. <laughs> got some got some hidden hidden interesting things around here. Um, this is my first tree farm that I ever built. And I liked the birch trees, so I went and made a bunch of made a tree farm out of birch trees. Um, this is my first my first house. Uh, it doesn't look all that great up close. It's got a it's a wooden house with a dirt roof, and because it had a dirt roof, I planted a tree on top. Now let's uh, take a look inside. It's a it's a tiny little house. It's more of a shack than anything. Um, I've got a workbench. I don't know what these are here for. Um, a box, and then I just started digging down here to ba to dig it out a basement. Mm hmm. Yep. Digging out a basement. And this became my my first uh, decent <laughs> my first decent uh, workstation that I set up. I have a bunch of furnaces here. I think I was cooking clean stone mostly and and iron and gold and stuff. And I used signs to label my boxes. Got some diamonds, glass, some pork chops, some bread, just a bunch of stuff down here. Um, and over here is my first large scale warehouse. Um, there's three levels of chests and I believe they go six back so it's there's a lot of uh, one of these 
boxes has nothing but cobblestone in it. Oh, there's some buckets of lava. Dirt. Ah, there's my cobblestone. Why why is there gravel in my cobblestone? And yeah, that's I maybe it's because the default texture pack I don't like it very much because I keep getting confused as to what was actually cobblestone and what was gravel look at this man I had no idea okay well now that that's all fixed <laughs> wow but yeah um, in this in the John Smith texture pack, I can really tell the difference between the cobblestone and the gravel now. And there's some more areas that I've been digging out. And uh, the big, the big part of this world that I wanted to show you guys, um, that I, I was building in this place for uh, five or six days before I finally switched over to the arch spore world and uh, here it is hold down shift and this is a huge room that I started digging right here on the surface and it goes all the way down to bedrock down there and this took several days to dig out it's really extensive lot of work went into this and like I said the pond here uh, there's a floating cow the pond here was only about one or two blocks deep originally and what I did is I dug out underneath it um, I believe it's about 20 blocks 20 30 blocks deep now and then I lined the bottom with sand and underneath the sand is gravel and then I planted uh, I planted cactus and I built this uh, I built this glass walkway kind of a, an underwater bridge it's my uh, my very first attempt at underwater construction and it took a really long time to do it uh, several days at least and it goes all the way over here to my my first hidey hole that I built back over here let's take a swim down there huh wonder what that is don't know but I also tried building a uh, an underwater house down here just to see how it would be, how it would work after the water was here. Oops. <laughs> so there's that. And there's actually water underneath the bridge itself. There's some air pockets here, which I need to figure out how to get rid of. Uh, probably come along with buckets of water and just place water right there on the glass. I think that would do it. But this is actually the very first time that I have been back in this world since I started playing Arch Spore. <laughs> um, it's been a really long time since I've been here. A really long time. And then uh, I made some windows to look out of. And I've got some water, water issues right there. And another one right there. But the house is really crude. <laughs> oh man, is it crude compared to my uh, current mansion? Wow. And then there's another another lake or little pond behind here. Uh, my warehouse is actually right underneath that. And that over there is a tree I was trying to grow just a giant massive tree so I placed a whole bunch of saplings 
And I think this was the like the very last thing I did before I left was plant was plant this tree thing. And I was I was trying to dig out a huge mine in my first hill over there. But kinda got uh kinda got bored with it and dug out this mine over here instead. So uh, I think the last thing I'm going to do here to show off for you guys is I'm going to go all the way to the bottom of that uh, huge room that I've dug. Oh, I fell in the water. Okay. Door. Close the door. Down the stairs. Twisting and turning. All right. Going down the stairs, and here is that. Here's the the water fountain pond. The it's kind of a skylight for this room. Um, when I built this place, I hadn't intended to. I had no idea how to make make film out of it or movies out of it, so I didn't really light it up well for video purposes. Hmm. There's some there's some other caves that I was exploring and just digging around. And I found a natural spring in a cave over here and dug it out and made kind of a a shallow swimming pool out of it. And then there is my chandelier. My first attempt at making a chandelier. Hmm. Not sure what that was for. There's another window up there. Oh, yes. Now I remember there's a nice a huge drop. Uh, it was a natural cave and there's a pool of lava at the bottom there. And I think if we go up here, huh, we can get up to that other window. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, nope. Doesn't look like this goes back. So, huh, not sure how to get back up there, oh well, let's keep going down the, uh, down the pit, and a lot of the stuff that I was working on in this world never got completed, because I ended up going over to Arch Spore and never came back. And this was my first encounter with uh, trying to dam up flowing lava, which was all right here. I, uh, I had no idea what I was doing at the time and finally discovered that gravel is an awesome way for damming up a uh, lava flow. So here's some some bedrock that I found and some more bedrock. And these are attempts at making a I don't know what it is, a, a lamp that falls down with you, but apparently if you put a torch on gravel and then you dig out the gravel and the, the top gravel falls, the torch falls off and breaks. So I was disappointed on that because I was always digging down the layers. I needed to continuously keep moving my torches down more and more and more. So that didn't really work out. Uh, 
now now that I'm a lot wiser in the ways of Minecraft, I think I might, uh, in the same instance, use, um, like, lava or something. Just set up a column of lava and have it flow down and light up the area as I continue to continue to work my way down the down the pit. So I think I'm going to head back up to the surface. Okay, so that has been my old world tour. And uh, now comes the exciting part. 1.8 update comes out officially tomorrow, the 12th. And I am going to be starting a new Let's Play. It's going to be a classic Let's Play with a twist, which uh, I will announce when the episode actually comes out. I'm going to be... or I would like to start the episode next week. And I need you to help me find an epic seed that I can use for my LP adventure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold a contest with a prize of one Minecraft key to whoever can find the most epic seed for me to use. How this is going to work is you can either submit a video response to this video, and only this video, um, or post a comment to this video with a seed that you have found in 1.8. It has to be a 1.8 seed. You can either use the pre-release or the official release that comes out tomorrow to find the seeds. I would like to... Video responses should have no more than five seeds in them. And uh, the seed that I like the best, or the most epic seed, will be the winner. Um, your seeds need to be submitted by the 15th of September, 2011. That is Thursday of this week, or next week, because today is still Sunday. So Thursday next week, after the 1.8 release, um, I will choose the winner on Friday, and my LP should be out on Saturday. So once again, look for a 1.8 seed that I can use in my LP, submit a video response with no more than five seeds in it or a comment on this video. I will be choosing the winner on Friday and be handing out a Minecraft key to the applicant with the most epic seed. This is One Wolf saying have a good night.